sorry. Welcome everyone. We got another great video coming for you today. Uh, another good workout, I hope. Thank you for those of you who are joining us. Um, it's been a tumultuous uh, week um, on top of a tumultuous several months. So uh, we're glad you can be here today. Uh, my goal is really today just to have a workout where we can kind of take some of the rest of the world, put it aside for a few minutes, practice a little bit of self-care and getting a good workout, changing our brains away from whatever sort of fury is uh, uh, circulating inside of us and use this as a chance for a break. Um, I'm sure we'll all go back onto the news and social media and see what's happening tonight. Uh, in the meantime, let's just try to have a good workout. So today, what you're going to need is you're going to need your buddy. Um, as a reminder, if you haven't done one of these before, I've got a pillow. Uh, this has a yellow pillowcase stuffed inside of a sweatshirt. If you've got a hoodie sweatshirt, they're even better because you can oftentimes zip them up. That is stuffed in time inside my dough block or tea jacket, and i got a belt on it. Um, the arms are actually a couple of... Um, uh, what are they called? They're called beach towels that are shoved in crossways across the top of the, uh, the sweatshirt. Gives a little bit of arms so that you can use that. So you'll need that. Uh, maybe some light or medium weights. We're going to do a little bit of weight stuff. Uh, hopefully we're going to be getting a good drill with the gi guy and then some other stuff afterwards. But today's focus is going to be groundwork. As usual, have fun with it. Do the best you can with it. If you have questions and you're live, then feel free to ask them. Um, otherwise, just do the best you can and get the most out of it you can. Uh, there's no pressure. We're all in this together. We've always all been in this together. And maybe the, anyhow, the events of the last week bring that even more home. Um, so let's just put it aside. Forget about it. Try to enjoy a workout. I know it's hard, um, but as evidenced by my brain, can come in right back to it, right back to it, right back to it. So that I apologize. But um, let's go ahead and have a good workout, and that's our goal for the next hour. So we're going to start, as usual, with our jumping jacks. Uh, so make sure you've got some space around you. We're going to do 50 jumping jacks. Uh, I will count it out. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, and stop. All right, next, do a quick circuit of uh, crunches, back arches, and push-ups. 20 crunches, 20 back arches, 10 push-ups, and we'll cycle through that a few times. So get some space, some good space for you. I'm gonna start off with some really easy basic crunches. We're doing a warm-up here. Push things as hard as you want, or take it as easy as you like. So. Um, 20 crunches, nice and easy. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, basic back arches, supermans. You can lift up uh, both arms and legs at the same time, or you can kind of alternate uh, your choice. Um, I would suggest you spend half looking one direction, half looking another direction. So, uh, 20 on the clock. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And push-up position. Make sure your shoulders are over your hands. And 10, ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, onto your backs. Crunches of your choice. I'm gonna do leg lifts. So my hands are going underneath my bum. 
legs are starting up. You're doing regular crunches, double time knee. Otherwise, ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Um, back arches of your choice. Uh, I'm going to do a low plank and just alternate leg lifts. Nice and easy. Ready. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, zero, good. Push-ups of your choice. I'm gonna go wide this time. Find your own position, up to a high push-up position. If you wanna do from your knees, one-handed clapping, whatever. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good. All right. Last set. Crunches of your choice. I'm going to do uh, leg lifts, but uh, do them with a twist so I can get my obliques a bit. And ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, four more, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, last one, twenty. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, back arches of your choice. I'm going to go back to Superman's. They're nice and easy to count. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switching sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, push-ups of your choice. Um, I'm actually gonna do scooping judo push-ups. So I've got my legs wide, my hands are gonna be kind of in front, and I'm gonna scoop in and then come up. Nice and easy, 10 of your choice, whatever you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, up to your feet. Uh, we're gonna do some stretch kicks. Um, we're gonna start left foot forward, right foot back, right leg is doing the stretch kick. Remember, good posture, rotating on the support leg, keeping the hands up, maybe fist, maybe open hand. Just be thoughtful of what you're doing. Easy, straight up and down. Nice, ready, and one, two, 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 three, two, four, two, five, two. Switch. Right foot forward, left leg stretch kicks. And one, two, two. 
two, three, two, four, two, five, two, switch. Left foot forward, right leg is doing an out to in stretch kick. One, two, 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 three, four, two, five, two, switch. Right leg forward, left leg doing the kick. One, two, two. Three, shoot. Four, shoot. Five, good. Switch. Right leg kicking into out. So you're going to bring it up, step down, open, opening up the thighs. Good posture. Rotate on the support leg, hands up. One, shoot. Two, shoot. Three, shoot. Four, two, five, two, switch. Right foot forward, left leg kicking. One, two, three, two, four, two, five. Good. All right, roll off those hips. Down to the knees, working your way slowly, deeper and deeper, just nice and easy. Good. All right, go ahead and grab a quick drink of water, and then we're going to move on to our training portions for the day. So make sure you've got your okay. um, We're going to start off with some groundwork drills. So you hopefully got your gi buddy. Um, oh, yeah, I'm actually going to use my big guy. He's a lot more easy to use. So here's what we're going to work on. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on, we're going to work on two pin drills with our buddy here, OK? I'm going to start on my, to, to the right side of my partner. Yes, it's his left side. I'm just going to refer to my point of reference. Um, we're going to start with the knee on belly, all right? And each of these, we're going to return to the neon belly or floating hold, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start here. You're going to make sure you pull this hand that you're holding off to the side. Drop down, slide down into a chest hold. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take this, the, the, the knee closest to their legs, turn the hips, bring that knee over, come up into a mount, grab pop up in the neon belly, and as you do that, we're coming upright, good posture, pulling up, so we're pulling their solar plexus into our knee, or pulling our knee into their solar plexus. Okay, so, start in floating hold, drop down to chest hold, switch the hips, bring that knee over into a full mount, reacquire the chest hold, come on up. And for those of you with a small size room, I'm going to start on my right side, then we'll slide him over, do the left side, and we'll do that a couple of times. Any questions so far? Okay, let's go ahead and rock this out then. Ready, and starting a knee on belly, and drop down to chest hold. Switch the hips, full mount, come up, grab a choir, back to knee on belly. That's one, down. Chest hold, switch the hips, bring that knee over, come up to full mount, pop up, come up right, that's two. Drop down to chest hold, switch the hips, bring that knee across, full mount, pop up, three. Drop down, chest hold, switch the hips, bring that knee over, full mount, pop up, knee on belly, four. Drop down, chest hold, switch the hips, bring that knee across, full mount, pop up, knee on belly, that's five. Good, we're going to switch to the other side, slide your guy over if you need to, and starting in, knee on belly, ready, and drop the chest hold, switch the hips, 
slide that knee over, got your mount, pop up to knee on belly, one, drop down, switch the hips, bring the knee across, full mount, pop up, knee on belly, two, drop down, chest hold, switch the hips, bring the knee across, pop up to mount, pop up, knee on belly, I think that's three, drop down, chest hold, switch the hips, knee across, mount, pop up, four, drop down, chest, switch the hips, bring the knees across, knee across, full mount, mount, pop up, five, all right, let's go back to the other side, we're going to do that again, any questions first? As you're transitioning from uh, chest hold here, and I switch the hips, don't just swing the leg kind of loosely across, because you're going to get blocked. So I want to bring this knee tight across so I can't get blocked by their legs. Questions? All right. Let's go ahead, do this again. Ready, starting in floating hold or knee on belly, and one, chest hold, switch the hips, slide the knee across, mount, pop up, one, down, chest hold, switch the hips, knee across, mount, pop up, floating hold, two, drop down, chest hold, switch the hips, bring the knee across, mount, Mount, pop up, three, down, switch the hips, knee across, nice tight mount, pop up, pop up, knee on belly, four, one more on this side, chest hold, switch the hips, bring the knee across, mount, pop up, knee on belly, that's five, good, slide over, let's go to the other side again. And starting in your floating hold, knee in their solar plexus, pulling up painfully. And dropping down, chest hold. Switch the hips, slide the knee across, mount, pop up, knee on belly, that's one. Down, chest, switch the hips, slide the knee across, mount, pop up, two, down, chest hold. Switch the hips, bring that knee across, knees tight, come up, mount, pop up, three, knee on belly, down, chest hold, switch the hips, bring that knee across, knees tight, coming up to mount, pop up, knee on belly, I think that's five. All right, good. Question so far? No? All right. So, for the next combination, while you're breathing, get some water if you like. Next combination, um, I'm going to give us a little, a lot more space near the head if you can. So slide the feet uh, back. Next combination is we're going to go from our knee on belly, and we're going to return to our knee on belly. But first, instead of dropping down to uh, shoulder, uh, uh, chest hold, we're going to drop down into scarf hold. Notice I'm keeping this arm. The knee is sliding up tight close to their arm, sliding in tight here. Now the head comes over, control. Gonna now take this arm, push it across, drop the head down so I've got my shoulder hold or a uh, arm triangle. We can even get the choke here, okay? Next what we're gonna do is we're gonna move to a north-south position. So this arm that is right here, I wanna push it across their chest Rotate around, so I've got it pinned. Then I'm going to bring the hips back for a reverse scarf hold. My arms did not move. It's my hips that move. My lower right ribs are now across the top of their chest, almost the, the clavicle. And now we're going to go into mount right from there and pop right up. Okay? So, one more time. We're starting in our neon belly. We slide down into scarf hold. For whatever reason, they're getting out. We take this arm and we push it across their face. 
get into the shoulder hold. Then from here, I'm going to switch the hips, go face down, pushing their arm across into my north-south hold. Bring the hips back for a reverse scarf hold. Hands don't move. And now I'm going to swing this leg over into a full mount and then pop back up into my knee on belt. Questions? Can we see like rotated 90 degrees? Yes. All right, so I'm going to rotate 90 degrees as asked. I'll try to get it exactly 90 degrees. Okay. Um, knee on belly here, right? Now I'm going to drop into scarf fold. My right knee is going to slide into their armpit and through as tight as high as I can. Still holding this sleeve. My other hand goes around their head. Now I control that arm. Now I'm going to take this right hand, push that arm across, drop the head down into a shoulder hold, clasp the hands, nice seat belt grip. Now, whatever, maybe the choke isn't working, I'm just going to transition to a north-south. So I'm going to push this arm down. I go from chest up to chest down. Notice how the hips, one big step, hips come across. Now my arms lock in and hold. Now I'm going to go to the reverse scarf hold. My chest and arms are going to stay almost exactly where they are, but the right leg's going to move under me. It's going to come through and under. And now the left foot is going to swing over with a big step into full mount. And notice this whole time I'm trying to keep this arm controlled. Pop here to full mount and pop up into neon belly. Does that answer the question? Yes. Cool. All right. Any questions? All right. Make sure you got plenty of space up near the head of your, uh, your opponent because your feet are going to swing way out over there. But again, we're going to kind of stay between 12 and uh, 4 o'clock so that you keep limited on the space you've got in your room that you're using. All right. So I'm just going to call out the positions. I'm not going to call out which feet are moving where and where and where if you need to kind of pause and watch. Okay, so, knee on belly, and one, scarf hold, shoulder hold, north, south, reverse scarf hold, mount, knee on belly, that's one, drop it down for two, scarf, shoulder hold, North south. Reverse scarf hold. Mount. Knee on belly. What is that? Two? Alright. Three. Scarf hold. Shoulder hold. North south. Reverse scarf hold. Mount. Knee on belly. Number four, scarf hold. Shoulder hold. North south. Reverse scarf hold. Mount. Knee on belly. Scarf hold, number five. Shoulder hold. North south. Reverse scarf fold. Full mount. Knee on belly. Good. All right, now we're going to switch sides. If you need to, slide over your guy. Adjust the space as you need it. Questions before we go to the left side? Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Starting in, let me see, i got to make sure i got enough space. Okay, knee on belly. One, scarf hold, shoulder hold, north, south, left leg moves all the way across, reverse scarf hold, left leg continues in that circle coming under, full mount, right leg swings over, you've got your mount, pop up now, knee on belly, that's one, alright, scarf hold, shoulder hold, north, south, 
reverse scarf, full mount, knee on belly, that's two, scarf hold, shoulder hold, north south, reverse scarf hold, full mount, knee on belly, three, scarf hold, shoulder hold, Full, uh, uh, north south, reverse scarf, mount, knee on belly, that's four, last one, scarf hold, shoulder hold, north south, reverse scarf, knee, mount, knee on belly, good, all right, um, questions? All right, we're rocking through on time. I love this. Okay, so we're going to do it again. So, slide your dummy back over to the left side so you've got plenty of space at 4 o'clock up to midnight. And let's go ahead and do it again. Let's try for another five. So, knee on belly or on the right side. We're going to drop down to our right side, left arm going around their head. Ready, one, scarf hold, shoulder hold, north south, reverse scarf, bring that leg over, mount, pop up to knee on belly, one, scarf, shoulder, north south, reverse scarf, full mount, pop up, that's three, Scarf hold, shoulder hold, north south, reverse scarf, mount, pop up. Is that four or five? Let's do one more. I don't know. Scarf hold, shoulder hold, choke them out, north south, press that arm down. Make sure you're dropping down low enough. Reverse scarf hold. Swing that leg over mount. Pop up. Knee on belly. Good. All right. Switching over to the other side. So slide your friend over to the right. Make sure you got plenty of room on the left side between 8 o'clock and midnight. And let's do it again. Starting in. Knee on belly. Scarf hold. Shoulder hold, north south, reverse scarf hold, swing the leg over, mount, pop up, that's one, scarf hold, shoulder hold, north south, switch the hips, reverse scarf hold, swing the leg over, mount, pop up, knee on belly, uh, that was three, Scarf hold, shoulder hold, north south, reverse scarf hold, leg over mount, pop up, four, last one, scarf hold, shoulder hold, north south, switch the hips, reverse scarf, swing the leg over, mount, pop up, knee on belly, Five, good, all right. Quick, grab your medium weights. And I think we're done with the dummies, so you can kind of throw them off to the side too. Grab your medium weights. We're just gonna do an easy squat with an overhead lift. Medium weights or heavy weights, it's up to you. Um, remember, we're gonna think about sitting on something back straight. Then you're gonna bring the arms up, overhead lift. That will be one, okay? Feet just about shoulder width apart, maybe even a little narrower, sitting down, nice straight back. All right, we're gonna do 15, yeah. All right, ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, 
eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, good, nice easy break. If you want, grab a quick drink of water and we're going to move on to our next drill. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to work on uh, drills from turtle, okay? It's not a smart position to end up in, but every once in a while we still find ourselves in it. Of course, it's not a great position because we don't want someone taking our back, getting their hooks in, choking us out, or just beating on the back of our head. But we still end up in it sometimes because judo habits, I guess. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to make sure kind of you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to start down in a turtle position. For those who don't know, I'm kind of huddled in here. I've got my arms in so that it's hard to pull it out to get an arm bar. I've got my arms also protecting my head so it's hard to get in to get a choke. And I'm fairly low to the ground, so it makes me pretty stable, okay? But we don't want to sit here forever. We want to take advantage of it. Um, one thing we're going to work on today is kind of popping out to a guard position. So what I want you to do is you're going to come up slightly. Notice how I'm going to come up onto my toes. I'm now going to kind of br uh, uh, do a kind of a very narrow plank. Notice how close I am. Left hand comes up, right leg comes through, and we're now in a guard having turned to our left. And then I'm just going to come back. And since most of you have a small space, we're only going to go to one side first, then we'll do the other side next. So, I'm low, I'm tight. I come up to a very tight plank, left hand comes up, right foot comes through, and I'm in a guard position. And then I just come right back. Questions on that? All right. Um, should be a pretty easy drill to do. We're just going to try five left, five right, five left, five right, and we're going to add some fun stuff to it. So uh, nice and easy, keeping things tight, making it a nice, powerful movement. So starting in, turtle, and one, come up, turn, left, and back, down. Pop up, turn left, two, come back, low, pop up, turn left, three, come back, uh, low, come up, turn to the left, four, come back, low, pop up, turn left, five. All right, now we're going to switch sides. Remember on this is that as you go from this nice low tight position, you're coming up a bit, and I'm planking very briefly in this uh, frog-like position. And then the left leg's going to come through and open up to that right side. So, ready, and one, and back, two, and back, three, and back. Don't rush it, four, and back. Last one on the side, up. Five. Good. All right, let's go back. Do the left side, turning to the left side again. Questions? All right, let's do it. Turtle position, nice and tight and low, and come up and turn left. One, and back. Low, pop up. Two, turn left. Come back. Low, pop up. Turn left. Three, and back. Low, come up, turn left, four, and come back. Last one on the side. Low, come up, turn left, five. Good. All right, back to the other side. We're now going to be turning to our right. Left leg coming through. Low, come up, turn left, one. Back. Low, up, left, two. Low, up, right, Three, low, up, right, four, last one, low, up, right, five, good, all right, questions, all right, uh, make sure that you're supporting your weight on your forearms and your toes, even though you're all scrunched in, we're trying to get a nice, powerful movement, you've got someone sitting across you, and you're going to try to pivot out of it and pull them in the guard better than having them on your back pounding in your head. So, next, we're gonna add to it a kick,
and a standing up to base. So, here's what it's going to look like. We're going to start off in our low turtle. We're going to pop up. I'm going to turn to my left. Right leg comes through. Kick, kick, nice and high. If you want to do a double leg kick, that's fine. I'm going to now come up, left hand up. Right foot steps back, coming on up, okay? And back down and back to a turtle. Questions? So turtle, guard, kick out, pop up to base, get back down again, all right? I think we can do it. You can do it. All right, ready. And turtle, pop up, turn to your left, kick out, right foot comes back, up to base, back down, back to turtle. Coming up, turn to your left, kick out, right foot moves back into base, come up, come down, back into turtle. Low, pop up, turn, kick out, kick out, come up to base, good. Back down, one more on this side, and low turtle, high turtle, turn, kick, 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 come up to base, back down, that's five, good. All right, so now we're gonna readjust in our space, and this time we're gonna turn to our right. Left leg is gonna come through, so we can pull into guard, kick, 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 then left foot's gonna pull back into coming up to base. All right, ready, low turtle position, pop up, Left leg comes through, kick, kick, kick. Left leg slides back, coming up to base. And back down. Turtle, low, pop up. Turn, kick, kick, kick. Left leg comes back, coming up to base. Back down, back to turtle, low, pop up. Turn to your left, kick, kick. Left leg comes back, up to base, back down. That's three, and low turtle. High turtle, turn, kick, 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 come up to base, four, back down, low turtle, high turtle, left leg comes through, kick, 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 come up to base, back down, and that's five. Questions? Easy peasy, I know. All right, so we're going to repeat this, except this time, Instead of our person ending up in front of us, they end up at our head for some reason, okay? So here's what we're going to do. You're going to start on your low turtle. You're going to pop up. You're going to turn the hip. Uh, no, we're going to go the other way because that's what we've been doing the whole time. Right leg comes through, looking to my left. Turns out they're up at my head. So I'm going to do a high kick. And so I'm trying to kick someone standing right over me. And then I'm going to come up and spin, okay? Then I'm just going to roll over the turtle. Now I'm facing the same way I did before, low turtle, high turtle, right? Leg comes through, uh-oh, they're not there, they're here, kick, spin, and then I roll over to turtle again. Okay? Questions? As you're rolling up for that kick, remember you just realized that they're not here. They're over your head. So the hands are going to move up here. Maybe even do kind of like an X block to help protect yourself. If they're really close, you grab on, kick up, all right, and then spin away from them, okay? All right, questions? Good. All right, so let's low turtle, get ready, right leg's going to come through and pop up, right leg comes through, uh-oh, cover the head, kick, spin, roll over. That's one, two, kick at the head, turn over, roll over, spin, roll over. And that's two, three, uh-oh, spin, roll over. Three, again, pop up, turn, uh-oh, kick, spin, roll over, that's four. One more, pop up. Bring the legs through, uh-oh, kick towards the head, spin, and roll over. That's five. All right, we're now going to switch and do the other side. So if you need to, reorient yourself so you've got space mostly to your, uh, to your right. And starting in, low turtle, pop up, left leg comes through, 
looking towards my right side, getting ready to kick, but they're over my head to my left. Kick, spin, and roll over, and I'm ready to repeat again. All right, low turtle, pop up, one, uh-oh, ah, oh, shoot, kick, spin, uh-oh, turn over, turtle, pop up, come through, uh-oh, kick over the head, spin away, roll over, good, that's three, and pop up, and pop up, turn, four, uh-oh, Kick, kick, oh, and roll over. I did it wrong. It's hard to do in my head. All right, one more time. Low turtle, high turtle, left leg comes through. They're over my head. Kick backwards. Now spin. Get your legs between you and them. Roll over for a turtle. Let's do that one more time. Low turtle, high turtle, left leg comes through. Getting ready to kick to my right, but they're over my head. Kick, spin. And roll up into my turtle again. All right. Uh, one more set of overhead lifts. So grab your light, medium, or heavy weights. I'm going to go up another notch. I'm feeling good. Maybe I'll hate myself tomorrow. Who knows? Squat with an overhead lift. Think about sitting back straight. As you stand up, you're bringing these weights up close to your chest. This is a great curl position and then lift overhead. All right, we're gonna try 15 of these. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, five, eleven, twelve, thirteen, two more, fourteen, one, fifteen. Yes. Yes. Put down your weights. Get your water bottle. Accents cost you extra. Right. Grab a drink of water. And let's go ahead and do our cool down stretch. We've earned it. A lot of good core work today. Some good leg work. Upper body also. Nice all over over body exercise doing mostly bottom weight stuff. So, next, big circles. Remembering to breathe. Eyes open or eyes closed, it's up to you. Switch directions. Just don't make this a passive stretch. I'm pulling my head down, using the muscles on the tight side to stretch the muscles on the loose side. Oh, good. All right, looking left and right. Again, squeeze. So you're using the exercise to strengthen on one side, stretch on the other as you go back and forth. Right ear to right shoulder, left ear to left shoulder. Tick tock back and forth. Long enough squeeze to get just a little bit of oomph in there. Down and up. As you look up, try to keep the mouth closed. It's too easy to open your mouth. As many of us have learned, the hard thing is keeping your mouth shut. And shoulders coming forward. See, see, I got a kind of personal message in there, not just a stretching message. Good, big shoulder movements. Oh. Concave, convex. Switch directions. Raise them up, pull them back, drop them down, pull them forward, raise them up. Nice and continuous. Keep the motion going. Good. All right. Easy chain breakers. Oh. 
alternate with pikes. Squeeze it back. It doesn't have to be particularly fast. Catch that right arm as it swings forward. Pull it tight, cross. If you want to add in kind of a step behind twist, uh, you can do that, or you can just kind of twist off of it, add in a little back stretch. And switch. Left arm pulling across. And relax. And right arm coming behind your head. Fingertips are reaching down your back. Maybe stick out that right hip a little bit. Lean to the left. And switch arms. Sometimes it's nice to add like a secondary or even a tertiary stretch to this. Sometimes it's too much and it's too much to think about. If you're really trying to think about that arm stretch and where the position of your head is, so you're not pressing on it too much, then don't add in the secondary stretch. That's all right. And shake it out a little bit. Let's roll out the wrists, left forwards, backwards, circles. Circles. Good. All right. Feet shoulder width or so apart. Swinging. Easy back twist. Good. Down to the hips. Keeping your head in one place. Nice. Good. Circles. Push it out. Feel those tight spots. Switching directions. Good, and pick up the right leg. We're going to do nice, easy circles with the big toes, big circles, getting a good uh, exercise on the ankles. Switch directions. And extensions and contractions. Think about those kicking positions. Heel first, ball of the foot, edge of the foot, maybe inside edge of the foot. And we're trying to just, again, strengthen the ankle, strengthen the toes. Think about the position of your landings. All right, switch feet. Left leg comes up. Nice big circles with the left leg, left foot. Switching directions. And extensions and contractions. Thinking about those foot positions, strengthening those toes. Something great to just do in front of the, the television tonight or while you're Social media is uh, those foot positions. Social media is that a no, it's not a word. All right, um, feet about hip width apart, hands reaching up high. Let's get in some side stretches. I'm going to the side and forward and side and back. Other side, forwards, back. You can do this on your own going back and forth. A little bit of calling it out, just you know the pace at which I'm going on this. Right forward, right. Sorry. And um, is that a shelter in place warning? Uh, <laughs> that's, that's a tornado warning. Oh, tornado warning. All right, I didn't get yeah. one. All right, so if you're in a tornado location, you might need to go somewhere safe right now. But we got this left. You'll be fine for five minutes. Yep. All right. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, toes reaching up and forward, forward, coming down. And bend the knees, rags all up, hands come up high, forward, fold again. And cross the right leg over the left, hanging down. Feeling the stretch up the outside edge of the right leg. Relax that left leg, let the left hip come down. And switch, cross the right leg over the left. Feeling the stretch go down the outside of the left leg, maybe a little bit of hamstring, maybe some calf. For me, this is big on the IT band, starting way up above the hip, coming down the outside all the way down to almost above the knee. And untangle, 
come upright. Let's go ahead and widen up your stretch about two shoulder widths or so, maybe three, and hanging down the middle. Again, try to do this with a straight back. Think of your hip as a hinge rather than folding and curling, trying to uh, fold with a straight back. Nice hinge like motion. Dropping your chin forward if you want to get those hands into it, great. Walk the hands over to your left foot. Feet are parallel. Weight is uh, evenly distributed across both feet and front to back. Of course, if you come a little bit farther forward, weight coming more towards the toes, you'll feel the stretch differently. And through the center of your right leg. And back to the middle. And come upright, turn to your right, side kick stretch. And turn all the way to your right, crescent lunge. And drop the knee down, so pushing the hip forward. As I'm looking over and see one or two people have left, if you're in a tornado watch location, please get yourself safe. We'll see you another time. Chest down, right arm goes underneath and around the right leg. You're going to stretch in the back of the right leg. And come up, turn to your left for side kick stretch. Left leg is bent, right leg is straight, right foot is turned slightly in. I'm trying to keep my good posture, leaning back, opening up the inner thigh on the right side. And turn to your left, crescent lunge. Again, open up the chest, open up that abdominal cavity, feel the stretch in that right hip. Put that knee down gently, don't slam it down, leaning back, pushing that hip forward. And chest down, left arm goes underneath and around the left leg. And I don't know about you guys, but I am hearing the thunder. And that's even with the music on. All right, let's go ahead and just find yourself a seat. Take those hips, rock them left and right. Oh, good. All right, take your right foot, pull it behind you. We're gonna stretch out the quadriceps. Try to open up that hip and abdominal cavity again, pulling that knee back, but do not pull that heel off to the side. You want a nice tight uh, direction, tight line between your, your heel and your bum, if anything at all. And you don't want to pull that heel out to the outside. Good. Sit up, take that right foot, swing it all the way across and over that right knee. Hug that knee into your chest. Back straight. Good posture. Right hand goes behind you, left elbow goes outside your right knee, back twist. And untangle, left foot, pull it behind you with the left hand, stretch out that quadriceps on the left side. And sitting up, take that left foot, swing it over the right knee, put it down, hug that left knee in towards your chest, let your chest slide to the left, that left hip bone, sit bone should be reaching for the ground, hopefully getting there, back straight. 
number and degree. And left hand goes behind you, right elbow goes outside your right, your left knee, back twist, turning to your left. Try to keep that back straight, using both hands and arms to have additional effort on that switch. Good, untangle. Um, we're gonna do real quick is I wanna, let's go to downward dog. So make sure you've got enough room behind you. You're gonna do a high plank, rock back to a downward dog, walk out those calves. Good. Now you're going to let the hips sink forward. Upward dog. We're not going to skip the whole plank position. Try to relax the glutes. Let the hips sink to the ground as your back muscles relax. Good. Bring those hips back. You can think child's pose, but I want to make this active. We're going to focus on the shoulders. So I'm, I'm pulling my hips backwards towards my heels, using that to stretch out the shoulders. Pressing my shoulders to the ground. So I'm using the pull and the drop to open up those shoulders. Good. All right, let's put the left arm to the outside, stretch the chest muscles. Be careful you're not uh, hurting your elbow. Sticking on this left side, take that locked arm, shoot it underneath your chest. So it's reaching out over by your right hand. I like to now pin that left hand to the ground and now push that shoulder blade down. And while I'm doing that, I'm actually going to pull back a little bit with my left hip. I get a nice side stretch and back stretch at the same time. And now we're going to switch. Right arm is going to go out to the side, away from us, opening up the chest, feeling the stretch in the chest muscles. And then come up, and that right arm now is going to shoot across your chest, near to your left hand. Maybe pin down that right arm with your left hand. Push that shoulder to the ground. Drop that hip back and away, stretching the shoulders, stretching the side muscles, maybe getting a lower back stretch. Good. All right, untangle. Kind of sit here for a second, shake it out. A little bit of neck wobbling around. Oh, all right. Feels like a great place to end. Um, Thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you had a good workout. Uh, I hope you can kind of take this uh, post-workout euphoria and take a little bit further into the day. Um, I know there's thunderstorms here in Pennsylvania. We heard a tornado warning, so be safe, stay safe. Um, as always, we're all in this together. Uh, so be there for each other, listen to each other, hear what each other have to say. Um, and I will hopefully see you guys soon. So stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you for the next workout. Thank you very much. Have a good evening.